The snake in the tub or the bathroom sink, you know, they both require, I guess, disassembling some things to actually do the work, or like a toilet auger, you're just kind of going in and out. Okay, so what's, what's the hardest part about it? Uh, I mean, the hardest part about snaking a bathtub is first you got to remove the overflow plate and the linkage. Uh, sometimes the linkage can get stuck, so the first step is removing that. Once you have that done, you can actually get the cable in and snake out the line and, and clear the clog. Uh, same thing with the bathroom sink. I mean, you have to disassemble the trap first. Um, that's the only way you're going to be able to clear the clog properly. Okay. You think people can, for the most part, do this on their own? How do you? How can you? figure when it's maybe too hard of a job and you really should pull somebody? Uh, I mean, anything is worth a try first. Um, you know, the good thing about clogs, you're not worrying about shutting the water off. You're just dealing with a, a backup. Um, you know, so if you have a couple of simple hand tools and you can disassemble, you know, things to get to the clog, getting the snake in there and then you, that's half the battle. Okay, about how long of a process? I guess it would depend on what's clogging it. Right? Yeah, depending on the severity of the clog, you can typically clear either a sink or bathtub clog within 15 to 20 minutes. You know, any clog in a bathtub or, or sink, typically you should be able to clear that clog within about 20 minutes, um, which includes disassembling and reassembling the plumbing part of it. If it takes longer than that, chances are you're going to need to call on the professional. Okay, I mean, there, I'm sure there is a potential for you to make it worse as you're trying to yes. do that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, unfortunately with plumbing, there's always things that can go wrong. Um, but as long as you follow a couple simple steps, usually you can get it done yourself. So you set me right up simple steps such as? <laughs> uh, take your time, have a little bit of patience, and breathe. <laughs> okay, that's good, that's good. <laughs> and some of the tools, what, what are we going to need for this? Uh, basic tools for a bathtub and a sink clog, you're just going to need a couple channel locks uh, and a six-in-one screwdriver is helpful. You could spend about 50 to 100 bucks on, on the, the, the tools that you need to clear the clog. If you're hiring somebody, it's going to be about 199 and up. Okay, that's what I thought you meant. Thank you. Okay, and commitment. That always said it about how long it would take. And, oh, can I even do this? What would you say the difficulty level is, one to five? One being easy. <sighs> Depends how handy you are. <laughs> For the average person. <laughs> For an average person, I would say, uh, you know, bathtub and a sink is about an eight on a scale of one to ten. Okay. Of difficulty. Well, one to five. We do one to oh, five. one to five. <laughs> Let's call it a three then. A three? Yeah. Okay. Drano is, uh, is one of those products that can cause more harm than good, unfortunately. Uh, depending on the age and type of piping you have in your house, it actually can rot out the pipes and make a small clog a much bigger issue. Um, there are safer products on the market, and we actually uh, do carry a product called Zoom Bio One. Uh, it's an enzyme bacteria that eats away at the, the buildup in the pipes, whereas Drano is more acidic based and kind of just destroys the piping itself. Under your trap, now the first thing we want to do is loosely weld. So once that's disconnected, we're also going to want to pull out this arm, give it a little turn to loosen it up. 